here at uh, Oshkosh 2025, first day uh, with J.J. Friggy from Hartzell Propellers. Uh, talking to you, J.J., it sounds like you have not been slowing down. You've been speeding up at Hartzell. So tell me a little bit of some of the advancements you've seen in the blade technology and the blade architecture uh, going forward. It sounds like you've made huge strides in performance, weight reduction, and safety uh, renovation. Yeah, thanks, Rex. We we have really been dedicated to innovation on the blade technology side, and really focused on carbon fiber for quite some time. Uh, we think you know the combination of uh, durability and strength and reliability quality is really sets it apart from the other material uh, properties and, and options that are out there. You know, we we have carbon fiber props that have been in market now for over 40 years, and. One of the amazing things is that those blades are certified for unlimited life. And so in many cases, especially with some fleet operators operating in some pretty rugged conditions, those props come in every four, five, six years at overhaul cycle and the blades get stripped down, they get checked and they, they pass the, the inspection, they get repainted and they go right back in there. So we've got blades with over 50,000 flight hours and they've been through six, seven, eight overhaul cycles. We really believe in the technology. We've been doing it for a long time, um, but now we have better tools to design, whether that's the blade itself or integrating it specifically with an airframe like we did with Beta most recently. This AIM space is so intriguing because each one of these vehicles is fairly unique. What Beta's doing with the Alia is pretty remarkable to have an all-electric type designed airplane for whether that's cargo or, or military or civilian transport. And to be able to do that with, you know, essentially a, a five blade fixed pitch ground adjustable propeller, which in our point of view is, is a fairly simple mm -hmm. but a very efficient design. And that airplane just performs incredibly and you know again as, as you mentioned we've been working with them for four years now and, and really custom designed that prop for the beta alia and partnered with their electric motor and so we're excited about that we're excited about you know whether it's hydraulically actuated or potentially electrically actuated uh, or fixed pitch ground adjustable like with beta for sure we're looking at different retention and hydraulic uh, systems to be able to custom design what the market needs in this emerging space now, one of the other things that we notice is you're growing and you've had several acquisitions. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the acquisitions you brought on board and what that means to you as a company? Yeah, I would first highlight Whirlwind Propeller. You know, a family run business, been around 20 plus years and really in that experimental uh, aviation space. So we think it's a really strong complement to what we do because everything on the Hartzell propeller side has a type certificated pedigrees, meaning uh, everything that we make is either type certified or could be type certified um, if the customer requires it. On the Whirlwind side, it's truly an experimental pedigree and it gives us the freedom, if you will, to design uh, airfoils that are safe but maybe not certifiable and really push the edges of performance and aesthetics and that sort of thing. So we're we're excited to bring Whirlwind on board and then, you know, outside of that, we're really enthusiastic about growing our directly owned MRO network. So propeller maintenance, repair and overhaul is obviously a big deal. We have a recommended overhaul cycle for all of our props and taking good care of your propeller is the smartest thing that you can do as a propeller owner. So we've acquired five shops over the past 12 months and we have plans to acquire several more here in the back half of 2025 and, you know, building out a really strong regional MRO network of directly owned shops really helps us take care of our customers more directly, provide uh, high quality maintenance, low turn times. We've got exchange pools and access to factory parts and really uh, just bring some additional value to the customers. JJ, thank you so much. For Aero News, this is Rex Alexander on the campus of EAA Air Venture. That fuel gauge is really being weird. It's acting up again. We've got plenty of fuel, but those gauges really are not all that accurate. Great. For years, fuel gauges confirmed you were empty, but couldn't warn you before. SICE delivers certified full range accuracy because knowing before empty makes all the difference. Accurate fuel gauges. It is so nice. SICE, accuracy before empty.